what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going over what my favorite dog essentials that I like the most. From brand to type of treats I get them to type of food, collars, leashes, you name it. Anything I like to use for my dogs I'm going to share with you today. So for reference I have two dogs. I have a, as you've seen, you've seen Gypsy. She is my toy Australian Shepherd in the tri-color, the, you see the black, brown, and white. She is going to be two years old in July. She is roughly 25 pounds maybe a little more so she's more on the mini side but because if you know anything about australian shepherds if you go down to toy their sizing is different because they haven't locked it in yet but so i have her and then i have my six-year-old boston terrier cora who you'll see on my channel soon and she is roughly 30 pounds give or take She's completely healthy, no fat on her body. Both my dogs are checked up with the vet with everything I give them. I research everything I give them from ingredients to reviews to FDA approval to anything you can think of for what to give your pets. I want to make sure my girls are getting the best of the best or best of the best within a budget because there are some brands that are just so expensive. I'm just like, if I can get the same thing and something that's a little cheaper, I'm going to do it. So... Moving on, I'm going to show you what my favorite products are, so let's do it. Let's start with toys. My girls are obsessed with toys. They like squeaky toys, rope toys, tug-of-war toys. Enough said. Gypsy especially loves these. I've gone over in a previous video. I'm a Starbucks person, so look at how cute. This pretty much bark brew. Looks like a coffee. It's a squeaky. She's obsessed. As you can hear behind me, she wants it. Just a typical rope toy with a little knob. If you have two dogs, you can hold on to one end, they hold on to the other. I don't know what brands these are, I can't remember. I cut all the tags off so the dogs don't swallow them. But basically, I love Kong, Frisco, um, I don't really know a lot of brands. If they're cute, if they're durable, that's the main thing, if they're durable. Both my dogs like to tear everything apart. Gypsy has ripped apart so many rope toys. Cora's destroyed a million toys. I call them super chewers. I don't spend over $10 for toys usually because they just destroy them, so. Another one, rope toy. Looks like an elephant. I'm obsessed with elephants. I have an elephant tattoo. So, of course you know I had to get my girls a rope tug of war toy. So, they're obsessed with it. I think this is Frisco. Frisco or Kong. Nope, it's Kong. I lied. They're obsessed. Let's go over collars and leashes. I have one brand I've used for years now. I'm obsessed with them. I've used these for years. I'm obsessed with the designs. They're so cute. They're not expensive. Okay, my girls go hiking with us when we go for long walks and both of them are polars. So I need a durable collar and leash that isn't gonna choke them or break off or anything with them getting loose. I'm not doing it. I have anxiety over that. I don't wanna deal with it. But this is Cora's old leash or old collar. This is by Wolfgang, Man and Beast. I found them on Instagram. It's so cute. This one was a collaboration. I forget with who, but it's so cute. Super durable. This is the toughest thing on here. So you can see it's chipped already from the many walks and the many years I've had this, but durable. It clicks. It's a really sturdy one. There's no way this is coming apart easily. Like you have to really tug on it. And I have two dogs that are super tuggers. So there's that. And then matching leash. So there's the collaboration. I didn't know about it. I just got it because it was so cute. It's a simple leash. I don't know how it came in or not, but the end's heavy duty too. Heavy duty metal. It spins so you don't have to deal with your dog tangling you up. I swear by it. I love it. Now, because my dogs like to go on hikes with us in long walks and they tug so they don't choke because Cora will just start coughing because she's pulling so hard. I found these harnesses off of Amazon. Went through so many reviews. I think this is one of the best ones that are reviewed on Amazon alone. This is the Igloo Durable Ventilated. This is Gypsy's Reflective. Has all these little points on it. Doesn't get them so hot when it's in the summer and you're going hiking. It's good in the winter. It's padded so it's not going to hurt their little bellies or underarms. And it's adjustable. So Gypsy has this one. Cora has the one that's a little bit bigger because she's more broad shouldered. So she has a bright orange one and then Gypsy has this green. But I swear by this. Anytime we go for long walks, the girls are in their harnesses. Now, because I have an Australian Shepherd, anyone who has a long-haired dog, you know they shed. You know you need to brush them. Best thing for her ever. This is the Furminator. 
she hates being brushed. Not hate. She'll tolerate it. She loves being groomed. My best friend grooms her, but she doesn't like when I brush her. She doesn't like it. She just does not like being brushed. Cora, on the other hand, has a little what I call a horse rake, which basically is what's for dogs with coarse thin hair, which is Cora, and she loves it. So on one end, let me see if I can show you. One end is more jagged. I'm gonna tilt to so see you can see the bottom. The bottom is like mini teeth to get in between their layers. Cora loves being groomed. She'll just sit here and I'll just flip sides, keep going, get so much of her undercoat off. She loves it. This also comes apart if you need to get in between and go underneath with both hands. So got this. You can find these anywhere. I got this off Amazon. It wasn't that expensive and I've had it forever. So I have a dog that doesn't need to be groomed that often. And then I have Gypsy who's I groom every other day. So pick your poison. Let's go over dental treats. I know some people don't like giving them to their dogs. Some people do. I do because my dogs like to get into anything. So breath wise and just to take care of their teeth I give them them but they're on two different ones because one loves one kind of them and one likes something else so Cora is on these this is the whimsies these are natural daily dental chews they're shaped like dinosaurs and all sorts of stuff or bones she loves these she's normally a I give her medium because she finishes these in like two minutes because she loves them so much these are small but you can get them off Chewy or anywhere else in a bin. So this is half full and I've had this for like a year. So this is good. Then Little Miss Gypsy gets these. I have to cut these up into three. But these are the petite. Their weight. But she's been on these since she was little. We tried to give her Whimsy. She doesn't like them. We tried to give her Smart Bones. She didn't like them. Cora eats Smart Bones or the Whimsies. But this is what Gypsy eats. So we, we can only give them to her once a week. Because her stomach is just like, I don't want any more. She'll have like a harder time going to the bathroom. So we, she only gets one a week. So it's like by ear. If it's bad one week, I'll give it to her. If it's not, I'll just skip it. So this is what she's on. Now, I try to give my dogs healthy treats. This is the Origin Regional Red Freeze Dried Raw Dog Treat. These girls love them. They're good for them. And then I'm just really particular with what I feed my dogs. I want to make sure the ingredients are good. There's not a lot of things I have no idea what they are. Like you read them, you're like, what is that? I don't even know what it is. Is that a chemical? Is that whatever it is? So I'm a stickler about the ingredients, but I'm a fan of these. The girls love them. Moving on. Then Gypsy's favorite. Cora eats anything. Cora's a garbage disposal. Gypsy likes these. This is her favorite. Oh, I didn't even tell you what the regional red was. The regional red is liver and meat from ranch raised beef, wild boar, goat, and lamb. So that's what this one is for flavors. And then this one, it's Gypsy's favorite. This is tundra. This is goat, venison, wild boar, duck, lamb, and mackerel. So she loves these. This is a restock because I have the one she eats right now behind me. So she's staring at me right now because she wants one. You had enough treats today. Then this is just a restock. This is what Cora's had for years. Generally, I try to stay away from milk bone or typical products you can find anywhere. But she's been on these for years. She's almost seven. Vet checks her out. She's perfectly healthy. So I continue giving her these. But these are the milk bone little macro snack biscuits is what I call them. She's been on these for years. Comes in a giant jar. So got me one. Got my family one. Because when they watch Cora, this is the treat she gets. So... There's that. Now, if you watched my last vlog, I had unboxed from Chewy the Bones and Chews Bully Sticks. Not a fan. They stunk. Gypsy didn't. Gypsy ate them, but her system hated it. So, those I will never get again. Again, they were still out of the bark worthies, which is my typical one I give them. But this one had good reviews. This is the best Bully Sticks brand. These are just standard six inch Bully Inch. Bully Inch. Bully Stick. Trying these out. They had good reviews. So did the last one, but the last one I did not like. So. This is another restock. The girls love the Nutro crunch Crunchy treats. Typically, they like the apple and the banana. The banana one is the one they love the most. I'm getting stared at from under my desk because I have a Best Friends by Sherry donut bed. The Anxiety Cuddler for dogs. I'd show you, but she's in it. And they're kind of flat because I've had them so long. But look it up. That's the bed my dogs live in. I don't buy any other bed. It's always... The little donut cuddlers from Best Friends by Sherry. I have the big one downstairs in my office for them to lay in when I'm working. And then I have the little one up here under my makeup desk because that's where Gypsy lays when I'm doing my makeup. So this is the apple. They love them. Bananas my also my other favorite. So giant bag. It's literally filled to the top. I swear by it. Healthy. Good for them. I try to give my girls grain free. If you're going to come for me in the comments about grain free. My girls have been on for years. No issues. No issues with their heart. Nothing. So just do your research. Go by what your vet says. For the most part, do your own research. My dogs have what they do because I research the crap ton out of it. So don't come for me in the comments. 
Then this one they just tried today and they are obsessed. So this is the Charlie Bear chicken, pumpkin, and apple flavored grain free crunch treats. This was also filled to the very top and they're obsessed. I've seen this brand for years, finally tried it. I'm glad I did. The girls love it. So simple as that. And it's made with few ingredients as well. So you cannot have it, Gypsy. You can see her. She's trying to steal everything behind the camera. This brand, my best friend turned me on to because she works at Petco for grooming. But this is the Honest Kitchen Parmesan Pex Beef Parmesan and Blueberry Recipe. They were hooked. Gypsy was hooked instantly. Cora hasn't tried these yet, but Gypsy's obsessed with these. And there's only four calories a treat. And there's so few ingredients in here. They're all good. They're all real. Pretty much Honest Kitchen, from what I've seen and read online, it's like human grade food made for dogs. So. I'm sold because what I would eat, I'd want to give to my dogs that were healthy for them. So this brand does that. So I'm just keeping that. Now for dog food. This is what I give my girls for food. Granted, it's changed over the years because their diets have changed or they don't like it anymore. But I give them the Honest Kitchen grain-free chicken recipe clusters and then the Purina dog chow little bites. This is what they've been on, Cora's been on for years. That's what she eats in my family. And then this is what I've researched and I had them try. And Gypsy gobbled the crap ton out of it. Cora, when she came, she ate a ton of it. No issues with her. So this is what my girls are on. I mix it into the tub I have evenly, equally. And then they get a mix of both of these when they eat. So these are the two brands I stand by. You cannot have your food right now, ma'am. You cannot have your food right now. Then this is the Best Friends by Sherry Cuddler I was just talking about the comfiest bed you can wash it so it comes out this way it's cushioned in the center for them to lay on so I swear by this bed so there you go all right you guys that's everything I have for this video remember be nice in the comments I get everyone's different with what they feed their dogs I treat my dogs like they're my own kids so I research everything I give them if something I give them does not react well with their system I ixnay it I try something else or go back to what they've been on. So they go to the vet yearly, sometimes bi-yearly. Anytime they have an issue, I'm researching, I'm seeing what's going on. I call my vet, get them involved. So my dogs are very well taken care of. They're not neglected. So don't come for me with what I feed them, what I do. They're perfectly trained, perfectly healthy. End of story. So thank you guys for watching and please hit like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.